everybody, it's Jen. I'm here to shoot my 33, well really 34 week pregnancy update. I say really because tomorrow I turn 34 weeks, so I guess we can call this my 34 pregnancy week update, which is really crazy that it's 34 weeks already. And again, if you didn't know, 34 weeks with twins. So in a way, it's really a huge milestone to have made it this far. Each week that I keep making it is another milestone for me because in the beginning I was really scared of not making it this far. So I'm really glad that we made it this far. Last Friday I went and saw MFM Maternal Fetal Medicine Doctor ultrasound placed again and they did a gross scan of both babies and baby A is currently measuring five pounds seven ounces which is super crazy to me and baby B is measuring four pounds 14 ounces but because she's still breech um, the way she's positioned it was kind of hard for her to get a very accurate measurement of her so she could technically be bigger also I'm not really sure how accurate these measurements are because sometimes they are off when they're born, they could technically be bigger, smaller, but that's how they're measuring right now. So baby A is head down and baby B is breech still. So as of right now, it looks like um, I'm probably going to have a scheduled C-section, which, you know, I'm not super happy about, but it is what it is. As long as the babies come out healthy, that's all that really matters. And my doctor's just really pushing that, like, both babies need to be head down in order to do a vaginal delivery. And at this time, they are not. And at the ultrasound, she even said it was highly unlikely that baby B would flip over at this point due to how big they are, how much room is in there, and that she's probably just comfy hanging out like that. So as of right now, I'll probably have a scheduled C-section on January 7th because they will not let me go past that date, which is when I turn 38 weeks. They also will not let me go any earlier because <laughs> I asked if we could go around 37 weeks in December sometime and they said I cannot go any earlier unless medically necessary. You know, obviously if there's an emergency and I go into labor naturally on my own, then that's another story but they can't schedule something, anything before 38 weeks. So that's what's happening for right now. Unless, you know, by some miracle, baby B flips over. But, and like I said, you know, there's still a chance of me going earlier than 38 weeks. But right now, January 7th is our scheduled date for C-section. So it's kind of exciting to have a date, actually, because before I was just going, I don't know when they're coming, I don't know. So I can say, you know, January 7th, unless they come any earlier. I now see my OBGYN on a weekly schedule, so I'll be seeing him once every week. I was supposed to start doing my NST scans um, at 32 weeks, but now he said because I have die-die twins, that's like the least high risk of twins, that um, I won't need to go till maybe a little bit before 36 weeks, depending on how things go. Internal fetal medicine for another four weeks, but because of the holiday and their schedule, they kind of pushed me back to like five weeks. So I don't go until January 3rd, and at that point I could already have them, or they're coming really soon. So it's kind of silly, because you know, it's only four days before my date, but that's just how things worked out. I'm um, pretty good. I have been feeling physically exhausted and tired, out of breath, run down. It's just getting really hard to do much of anything. I tried going grocery shopping with my son today and we made it to like the dollar store and we came back home. I could not do it. I just, hopefully tomorrow I'll have my husband watch him for a little bit. He's been working every day, so. But just even just lifting him in and out of the car seat is just a workout in, of a, in itself. Not to mention, you know, bringing the groceries back and forth. So I'm kind of like physically done. But mentally I'm also like terrified for them to come. Because I feel like it's going to be 
another physical challenge, you know, very tiring, but it's just taking a toll on my body. It really is. It's hard to explain it to people too, because it's just like they're pushing up my diaphragm and like I can't breathe. I just feel like I'm, you know, I'm, I have 10 pounds of baby in me, plus their two placentas and all of their extra fluids and whatever else is in there. So <laughs> yeah, I feel kind of done. So I'm just taking it week, well, day by day, really, and then week by week, see how it goes, see how much I make it. But really, we honestly have four weeks, <laughs> if they make it that long, four weeks left. So it's like crunch time, have to have everything ready. So it's getting exciting. Yeah, I don't think there's really anything else new going on. I mean, like I said, I'm just taking it day by day, hoping to make it to the next day and the next and see how it goes. Keep you informed to let you know how everything's going, making sure everything's still going good and smooth and <laughs> make it to our goal date. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for my next video. Be sure to like this video and comment. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.